Hey there, Libio. All right, this is gonna be for the cusp sign of Libra and Scorpio, okay? I went with the name Libio because it sounds pretty close to libido, okay? Which means all my Libras and my Scorpios that are watching this out here or the cusp signs most definitely you have a good looking libido. People like the way you look, okay? That's very true for a lot of Libras and for a lot of Scorpios. It would not, I would not doubt it at all. If whoever is watching this sign, especially if you're on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio, if you are a good looking human being, okay? <laughs> so if you are a good looking Libio, you are in the right place, okay? All right, welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Libio, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, Libio. Libio. It sounds so close to libido. I just love I don't know. I thought it was funny. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was interesting because... I know a lot of good looking Libras and a lot of good looking Scorpios. So let's jump right in here. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Libio. Libra, Scorpio, cusp, please. Thank you so much. One, two, three, four. Let's see what's on the split. Let me get one, four. There we go. Okay. On the split today, we have Page of Wands and Four of Swords. Okay. So you could be resting and relaxing after some kind of situation with someone. Could be a fire sign, Gemini, Libra, I mean, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. A fire sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, okay? So so you could possibly have children. Doesn't have to be. It's not going to be for everyone, okay? Uh, unhappy news, suddenly, arguments, unruly children, mild danger, problems with pregnancy or small children, rebel or minor rebellion, also impotence. So you could be dealing with someone that is younger than you that is like this or possibly you have a, a kid that you're resting right now after like having to deal with some kind of rebellion or something like that okay so let's get right into the past present future reading here see what we got see what we can see okay whoa do you guys see that that is crazy bro look at that it just landed like that that is what these are the cards yo Okay, <laughs> should we do it? I think that's how we're gonna do it. That is crazy, all right? Actually, boom, boom. I like it better like this, boom, boom, boom. Okay, <laughs> so we're doing it that way. All right, it seems like you could have been dealing with someone in the past that is a little emotionally unstable, guys. Okay, something like that going on. I'm gonna put it back down here. I want you guys to be able to see the cards a little bit. All right, so. King of Cups Reverse, it seems like in the past you could have been dealing with someone that's a little emotionally unstable. Should I put these back? Nah, I'm going to keep it. Okay. It says, the King, the King of Cups Reverse is a shifty devil. For those of you that are new, I do use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide. I do know what basically all these cards are in the upright and the reversal, but I use this as a, I use this to get a complete and accurate depiction for what is going on for you, Okay. King of Cups Reverse is a shifty devil. His word is not to be trusted as his mind and loyalties changes with the tide of his emotions. Potential alcohol and drug abuse also often emotionally unstable. Before having any serious dealings with this man, ensure that you have done some investigative research to determine the extent of his character flaws and how they affect you, okay? So let's clarify King of Cups Reverse for Libio in the present, in the, in the past, please. King of Cups Reverse for Libio in the past. One, two, three, four. All right. We have the High Priestess Reverse, okay? The Magician Reverse and the Ten of Swords Reverse, okay? So it seems like this person was doing something in order to keep you stuck. They were keeping some kind of information from you, Livio, but you moved on from this situation, okay? You dodged the bullet. That's what Ten of, Ten of Swords Reverse represents, okay? Dodging the bullet, it says danger passes by so closely that you can feel the breeze. Something like that. I've read this card multiple times. That's, a, that's why I know I will literally read it for you right now. So that way you guys know I ain't just effing around with shit, okay? Dodging the bullet, danger passes so close by that you can feel the breeze of it passing, making, him, 
making an impossible recovery from certain death, physical, financial, etc. Resurrection. Okay. So this is someone that like was keeping something from you. You weren't aware of something that this person was doing. All right. For some of you, it could have been some kind of dark magic. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to be for everyone. Okay. For the high priestess reverse, it says a mental state or physical condition. Confusion, alcoholism, and drug abuse or overdose, paranoia, and superstition. Disillusion, especially with Six of Swords or Seven of Coins. We don't have either of those. Spiritual weakness, clouded judgment, false spirituality, psychosis, fantasism, and extremism. Not doing one's research or homework. Abduction, buried treasures, and bad pomegranates. Okay? It's also Pisces energy. Okay? You could have been dealing with a Pisces. Possibly. Maybe not. Okay? Unskilled labor, indecisive person or action, weak will. Sacrifice without reward, cowardly behavior. No wonder you dodged a bullet, okay? We got the King of Cups, and then we have Pisces energy. You could be dealing with Pisces. doesn't have to be, or, or a water sign. That's not going to be for everyone, okay? No wonder you dodged a bullet. This person is shady, dog. <laughs> when reverse this card indicates an untrained or incompletely trained expert or false prophet, if you will. Bad advice from a fool, not the fool. It is sacrilege and anathema to the wisdom and knowledge that come from careful and patient study and practice. It unearths shoddy workmanship and even scandal brought about by laziness pressed into authority. This is a very disturbing disturbing card reverse as it shows not just merely a lack of potential or of effort. It denotes a willful disregard for the values of patient and persistent training in a needed skill. All right, let's clarify this past situation. Who is this person that Libio is dealing with that in the past here? Who is this? Okay, we got that. Page of Cups reversed. Again, a Cups card. This is probably a water sign for most of you, okay? Could be somebody younger than you. That's not going to be for everyone. Or possibly you have kids with this person. All right. Somebody like doesn't, I don't know. Flatterer, selfish, deviation from the path, na naive, irrational, daydreaming, immature. Somebody that's immature, most definitely. Okay. <laughs> Let me get one card. The lovers, yeah, somebody that you were in love with, most definitely, okay? You dodged a bullet whenever you, if you left this person, especially, you dodged a bullet. This was definitely not a good person, okay? <laughs> All right, in the present, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, okay? This isn't necessarily a victory or predicted, uh, depicted as a good card, I don't necessarily think. It says, weakness of character, shifty and shifting alliances, someone who tries to evade responsibility or even deserts outright, fear of standing up for what is in what is most important to yourself or your needs escapism okay this could be you this could be someone else in your energy take it as it resonates feel free to reverse the roles be your own leaders of discernment when watching these general readings okay guys i want to have my face in it a little bit i don't know if i just need it feels more normal to me okay two three four all right nine of wands reverse for libio please show me the cards that i need to see in the present show me the cards that i need to see in the present please let me get one more, four, one, two, three, four, there we go. All right, we have the two of wands, the six of wands reversed, and the page of cups. Wow, well, definitely got the page of cups, guys. I feel like you're having a hard time moving on from someone. I feel like you're trying to, but I feel like you're having a hard time, okay? But also, it looks like with the two of wands, you're starting to master your craft in some kind of way, but other people are like either one taking credit for the work that you do or you're not being recognized for the work that you do yet okay one of those two you could also be dealing with a fire sign that's not going to be for everyone okay two of wands this is a card of beginnings and calculated risks but instead of the spark of creativity or a burst of energy as seen in the ace this energy is a carefully planned effort to create a favorable outcome this is the card of planning coordinating the will applied to physical action the law of attraction being applied this is a card of doing and waiting. Results will come later. Right now, plan carefully and act decisively. Gather allies and support if you can as well, okay? Then with the Six of Wands reversed, okay? All this work and does anyone notice at all? Sometimes you work and work and work and of course someone else steals your thunder, your credit, or kisses up to the powers that be to make it look like they are the noble hero du jour. Time to buy yourself a cheap voodoo candle or just grin and bear it. Occasionally, this card may indicate outright defeat. Verify this before proceeding, okay? And then somebody wanting to come back in and make you an offer. Okay, we just got the Page of Cups reverse, okay, for the for the clarifying the past here. It could be a past person, so I would very be wary of that. It says, <clears throat> keeping in mind the pages have numerous meanings, this particular card can represent the birth of a baby girl or a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces baby of either gender. 
If expected by other pregnancy cards or in direct response to a pregnancy related question, otherwise usual meanings include psychic flashes, artistic impulses, musical talent or study, or even artistically gifted children. This page also often indicates good news regarding some part of the reading. Okay, so somebody, and again, you could possibly already have kids or have kids with somebody that's doing this in this reading here or something like that. But as you can see, he's coming in like, hey, how's it going? You want to go to Starbucks and get some coffee or something like that? You guess somebody want to come in and make you an offer here. Let's clarify. Let me get two clarifying cards. Let me get two clarifying cards for this situation for Libio in the present, please. Let me get anyway, one more four. One more. One more four. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> These, I got three clarifying cards. Okay. Will of Fortune, Death Reverse. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. Ooh, could be somebody. Oh my God. And we got the two of wands clarifying the two of wands. That is crazy, dog. So definitely some kind of um, new beginning here or some kind of new venture. Okay, the good news is the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. The bad news is, is that you're holding on to something that you need to change, okay? For this to be able to work out, you're going to have to let go of someone or something, okay? For this to be able to change. The death. This is also Scorpio energy, okay? Death reverse is like resistance to change. It doesn't necessarily state that in the book, I don't believe, but I will read it for you guys. Stagnation, refusal to let go, holding on to outdated ideas, a boring life, okay? So if you want the will of fortune to turn in your favor over some kind of new beginning that you have, and you have this four of wands, which is someone from your, like in your life here, like maybe a happy family life, if you wanna have a happy family life at some point, this is a prime empire card. The harvest is a good one and the fruits of labor are being enjoyed in a great feast. This is the time to celebrate. This card indicates parties and joyful gatherings of friends and associates. It also reflects the serenity of financial security, especially as a result of a good long-term planning and careful application of efforts. This is not a card of action as much as it is a card of rest and recreation after much hard labor, also parties and happy home life. If you want this happy home life, if you want this like the feast to be good, if you want to get a good, what's it called? Um, harvest out of whatever it is that you're doing here and the will of fortune to turn in your favor you're gonna have to let go of something you're gonna have to let go of something Libio. okay it's probably a person a place or a thing you're gonna have to let go of this noun out here okay <laughs> don't listen to me right now okay and then we got will of fortune for the future yeah it looks like you're gonna let go of whatever this is it looks like you're moving on from something here okay it's probably somebody that you really love that's why it was really hard to let go of it okay could be seeing angel. Oh yeah, look at look up angel number two four six. Okay, because we got two and six right here. We got four and four and two right here. You could be seeing two 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 or four four four. All right, but I would look up two four six and see what that means. My dog's whining. She wants to go outside. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up kind of quick, guys. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. This is a very good card. Okay, I'm coming, baby. I'm almost done. Okay. That's my doggy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> She's out there whining. It says Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus energy. Okay, also, it's really hard to overstate the face value if it is facing up. It really is a very good card. Things go your way. Plans come together. This is also representational of the future. So what you have to look forward to, okay? In essence, you are swimming downstream in the great flow of the universe. The current pushes you along, so you end up going faster and further with less effort. Some authorities like to compare this card to the notion of one's karma, but, but, but really, what is karma without dharma anyway? You can't earn karma unless you have some personal dharma to start with. In non-gibberish terms, you are you. Be you. Don't run around trying to be something you are not. Yes, 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 develop yourself, but do so along the lines of your purpose and innate strengths and deepest desires. Okay? Let's clarify the Will of Fortune for Libio in the future, please. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libio in the future, please. One, two, whoa. Show me the cards that I need to see. Let me get a four. One, two, three, four. There we go. All right. Oh, my God, with the pages. So many pages. Page of Wands. That's the Two of Wands. Okay. Six of Wands. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Swords. Okay. There's some kind of decision that you're gonna have to make here, okay? You could very well, someone out here could very well have kids, possibly, okay? With someone, that's why it's such a hard situation, okay? But it looks like you may be working very hard. This Nine of Pentacles reverse represents a baby. I see you, I'm about to let you out, okay? I haven't forgot about you. Nine of Pentacles represents all work and no play, okay? 
all work and no play leads to a life of wealth and power, but to what end? So you're going to have to make a decision here about working too hard, especially if you're someone who has kids. Okay. You're going to have to make a decision here about working so hard and you're getting this wealth and getting this power, but you're having no family time. Okay. But the will of fortune is turning in your favor because of how hard you're working. So let's clarify the situation for Libio in the future. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three. Dang, Sean. Okay. And we have pages forwards reversed on the bottom of the deck. This is the card. Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. So it's like letting go of something. All right. Ace of Pentacles. It looks like you're letting go of a lover. Like, is it the same one though? I don't know. The Empress reverse. Letting go of someone that causes you confusion. Oh, that doesn't um, support you. All right, some kind of situation or business, or it looks like, you know, we have the Lover's card and then we have the Two of Cups. I feel like throughout the reading, you're deciding to let go of this person. It's not going to be something that's right away. It could very well be because you have kids with the person, okay? But the Ace of Pentacles represents a new beginning, okay? Excuse me. Empress reversed, Two of Cups reversed. Imbalance, tension, folly, waste, dissipation, disunion, silly action, rejection, separation. Separating from someone that is greedy, materialistic, lack of originality, possessiveness, and obstacles. Okay, but you're getting an opportunity. Prosperity, power, opportunity, ma manifestation, labor, new venture, some kind of new venture. And then the Empress reverse laziness, dependency, inaction, lack of concentration, lack of inspiration. Okay. I feel like what you're letting go of is this person and in turn of letting go of this person that is bad for you, okay? You're getting a whole new opportunity in business or in life or something. Let me get one more clarification card. Just one. One more clarification card for this situation for Libio, please. One, two, three, four. Ace of Cups reverse. Somebody that does not emotionally fulfill you. You're moving on from someone that doesn't it says repressed emotion, blocked logic, emotional overwhelm, alteration, emptiness. I feel like that's that's how this person makes you feel, okay, right now. Okay, and then in the resistance position, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is something that you know that is going to hurt you in the future if you don't let go of it, okay? Could be a Gemini you're dealing with, doesn't have to be, okay? Recovery, regeneration, rebirth, that's after you let it go, okay? It's like you're, right now, this is how it is, okay? And the upright, it's ruin, defeat, failure, insolence, overthrow, speaking many words, hopelessness. Okay, that's, and the, like, that's what's happening. Right now, you're on the, you're on the fence between letting it go or keeping it. But whenever you let it go, it's recovery, regeneration, rebirth, beneficial improvement, advantage, profit. And then you also have the, the Ace of Pentacles that's going to happen when you decide to let whatever this is go, okay? All right, let's get into the Big Bubba Mac portion of the reading. Big Bubba Mac, Spirit Guides, God, Angels, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Libio today, please. I feel like it should be a song about Libio. <laughs> I don't know very many other readers that do cusp readings. I mean, I personally don't follow any that do cusp readings, so that's why I decided to do cusp readings on my channel, okay? So far, I've gotten at least a little bit of feedback, so I'm not too, like, I'm, I'm pretty much okay with doing it. I've done almost all, like, all of the cusp readings so far. I've done a lot of them, except for maybe, like, two or three. So, Jesus, come to, something's not coming together for you, all right? Something's having a hard time coming together, but you're persistent. Always persist, okay? Keep, keep trying. Keep it up. All right, clarify the situation for Libio in the present, please. One, two, three, four. All right, we have tape, some kind of recording. Scorpio as well, all right. You got Scorpio in there. Libio, okay. <laughs> so tape is like someone that has a recording of you or you have a recording of someone or someone, this always comes to me, trying to hold a relationship together with tape. Like, let's tape it together. Like, that's going to do anything. All right, it's tape, don't do, you can't fix everything with tape, okay, so... I'm just throwing that out there. Somebody's trying to work too hard to hold it together instead of doing the work. Wow, can you believe it? Libra and Scorpio came out, okay? Someone's 
like trying to hold it together, but they're not doing the work in order to fix the relationship. Okay. Sometimes you got to take a step back so that way you can come together in the future. That's one thing I always keep in the back of my mind. If it is meant for you, it will be for you. It will come back. Okay. One, two, three, four light workers. Someone could be a light worker out here. You could be a light worker or you're dealing with one or something about a light worker is significant. Okay. One, two, three, four date night. Okay. You could be coming to the realization of something on a date night here, whenever you're dating someone or whenever you're going out, or maybe you're possibly planning on going out on a date with someone else. Something like that is significant. What else? One, two, three, four. We have mother. Again, I have been getting a lot in the reading that someone is a mother out here or someone, you could be a mother or something about your mother is significant or something about a mother is significant here. Okay, what else? Wow, Cusper, oh my God. <laughs> you're on the cusp, okay? Especially if you're watching this reading between Libra and Scorpio, okay? That is crazy. What else? We have plant or plants is significant. Okay, you could have plants or you're planting some kind of new idea or you work at a plant or something about a plant or plants is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. Picture or pictures. Okay, you could be looking at pictures of someone or someone's looking at pictures of you or something about pictures. Pictures is significant here. What else? One, two, three, four. Something about the future and your sacral chakra, okay? Something about your sacral chakra and the future is significant here, okay? You could be looking forward to something that has to do with your sacral sacral chakra. Someone could be stuck, could, somebody could be stuck in a low chakra here is also what I'm getting. Happy, you could be happy about something or someone's happy about someone. Maybe you're happy about this reading. I really hope so, okay? If you are, hit that like button. <laughs> something about happy is significant here. You could be happy or someone's happy or something about happiness. Um, two more. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, <laughs> someone could be doing this a lot, or you, I don't know. Someone could be doing this to you, or you were doing this when thinking about someone, or, or somebody's got a good life with themselves when it comes to this. Okay, what else? <laughs> One, two, three, four. We have snake. You got a snake in your energy, okay? Watch out. All right, you got a snake in your energy somewhere. You need to be careful with the people that you are around right now, okay? This message is resonating with someone so far. Hit that like button at the bottom. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, all right? Boom shakalaka. Also, Libio, I am doing a discount on personal readings from now until New Year's, okay? So um, I will have that in the description box below. So if you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, make sure you do that. Anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below, okay? Boom, shaka laka Taurus. Ancestors, spirit guides, God, angels, Archangel Michael. Show me the cards I need to see for Libio today, please. What in the world was that? Just about done, baby. We're just about done. Hold on. I know. I know you want to go out that pinky winky. I know you want to go out that booger buddy. I know. I'm about to be done. And you want to watch you out that. Okay. All right. Let's see. One, two, three. She was like, okay, let's go outside. <laughs> no, baby, not yet. I'm almost done. Hold on. <laughs> Poor girl. All right. One, two, three, four. All right. I think we got two, though. Okay. Well, I'll read both. We have teacher and knowledge and healer and compassion. Since it's two signs, technically, I will read both of these for you, okay? First, we're going to read teacher and knowledge, okay? I got to read these first, baby, and then I'm done, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you. I know. I love you too. A teacher is someone who possesses knowledge and shares it through instruction and explanation. While such a role model may inspire you in lots of ways, the fundamental purpose of the relationship is to help you develop skills and absorb information that you can build on to achieve mastery over a particular subject or activity. You can no doubt recall various individual teachers you've had throughout your life that greatly influenced you, whether in school or another setting. These are the ones you remember because they challenged and inspired you. They may even have motivated you to continue learning a particular subject or activity beyond the time you were with them. Perhaps they even instilled the love of teaching such that you find yourself in that role now, whether professionally or more informally, offering your knowledge when presented with the opportunity to do so. That's what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They're saying this is a great time to act on that long held desire to further your education, learn a new skill or tackle a subject that has been calling to you for a while. That inner voice that sometimes whispers 
to you and sometimes shouts is an expression of your soul's deep yearning. Don't heed that fear of failing that was planted in your consciousness earlier in life. Peel back those layers of anxiety and take action that honors your calling and desire to move forward with your education. If doubts and hesitation crop up once you've begun, face them with courage and resolve. Conquering these fears will remind you how deeply satisfying learning can be as well as build confidence. Call on the teacher to assist you in moving through these fears and facing the challenges inherent in learning something new. Okay? Now, the healer and compassion card. Almost done, baby. H. G H. At the root of all healing is heartfelt compassion. There are some important distinctions between sympathy, empathy, and compassion. Sympathy is when you pity someone which casts the the receiver in a less than pos in a less than pos what? Sympathy is when you pity someone which casts the receiver in a less than position in a less than position, one where he or she is viewed as not being capable. This is the calling card of the rescuer in us, a road that has a few pitfalls. Empathy is an expression of caring where the person typically resonates with what the other person is feeling, such that they sometimes experience similar feelings. With empathy, there is an inherent risk of taking on too much of the other person's suffering and getting burned out. If you're an empath, you must learn how to set physical and psychic boundaries and also find ways to discharge the emotions that you picked up from the other. Compassion is a detached involvement where you show up with a wholehearted presence for another but do not take on the other's suffering, okay? That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. They are saying, Birth from the wounds and suffering you have experienced in your life, your capacity for healing has flourished. You are naturally drawn to healing your wounds and in the process discovered your own healing gifts that you now offer to the world. It's time to step out and offer your gifts and service. As a, as a sensitive and empathetic individual, you have the natural ability to sense what, other, what another person is feeling often before they themselves are aware of it. Yet because of this sensitivity, you found yourself at times absorbing and taking on another person's suffering, often without recognizing the source of the discomfort. To do, so, to do any type of healing work, developing clear physical, emotional, and psychic boundaries is essential. Ones where you can make the choice as to who or what to let in and who or what to keep out. And sharing your healing gifts with others, it's also important to remember to give to yourself in order to maintain balance. Boom shakalaka. And that's right, especially as a Libra Scorpio cusp, okay? You guys probably are major empaths. You guys probably pick up on everything when you're around other people, okay? So, wanted to throw that out there. If this message resonated with someone out here today, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, all right? If you guys would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, I am having discounts uh, from now until New Year's. You will not find this discount or this price probably anywhere else between any other readers. I'm just throwing that out there, okay? And I've always gotten good feedback, and it's going to change after New Year's, okay? It's going to go back to the regular prices, so I'm just throwing that out there, okay, guys? So you may want to do it as quick as you can, okay? Also, um, I've always gotten good feedbacks on my personal readings. I've never gotten a bad feedback, not one yet, okay? So just throwing that out there, want you guys to know that. Anything else you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Keep your head up, keep moving forward, and as always, guys, love yourself first.